Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to GIS Madras. Today I will show you how to create a layer in QGIS and add points to the layer. So let's get started. So you can see that there is a in the left side uh, we have an option called layers. Click layers, create a layer, and new temporary scratch layer. Now let me choose the new scratch layer name as as a demo demo layer so let me choose the geometric type so there is a variety of uh, options available from point line polygons curve polygons multi points so my interest is I am going to choose the point so this is the projection system uh, you can cho choose the required projection system using this option so I will choose as WGS 84 so let me click OK. So here in this corner layers, uh, you can see our layer called demo layer. So double click it. So this is uh, on double clicking, we get our options called our layer properties. So you can see that there is a variety of options available here from uh, information to, to variables, metadata, and digitizing. So I will cover in the next video the layer properties. So let me click OK. So now, uh, now let me. Uh, so now let me show you another option called. Uh, this option is called as a, a toggle editing. As on clicking, we can enter into editor mode. So let me click this. So now you can see that there are variety of options are available here now. So starting from current edits, add a point uh, features and vertex tool. So our, our aim is to create a layer. So we have done that. So now let me add up points. So go to this option called add point feature. Click this. You will get a tool called as a aim tool. Aim la, looks like a aim like tool. So now let me click here. So now a point uh, or a feature it is created. So let me click another point. So let me click this. Let me click here. Let me click here. So another points. So we have a uh, six different points in our layer. So each of these points represents a different features. Suppose this point, uh, this uh, point represents uh, a river. This point can uh, represent a settlements. This point can represents a water body, water bodies, and this point re can represents a mountains. So, in this way, you can uh, create a variety of points. Now, I have added three more points. So, total we have nine different points. So, to view these points, what are these points? These points are the features that is uh, represented in a map. Suppose this is a layer, and these are different points. In uh, actual world scenario, we have this point representing as a settlement, reverse water bodies mountain uh, mountain ranges and uh, it may represent the uh, commercial places such as cinema theater so to view these points generally these points are a point or a features that is represented in the uh, attribute table each point will have a corresponding row a row of field representing its uh, information so let me show you the attribute table that is uh, let me show you here so this is called as an open attribute table now I will open this on clicking this so, so we have nine different points so we have nine different points here represented three six and nine so nine different points so in this uh, we can able to add a few different fields and relate each of this point to a different feature suppose a point one on adding a field called as a features or a any uh, fields the one may represent as the settlement the two will represent as the water bodies three as the mountains and nine as a entertainment locations so this is called asana our attribute table so let me close this now i will show you another tool called asana identity tool so it is available in the right side the uh, top corner called as an identify features on clicking this uh, you can uh, 
use this tool to uh, know the different informations. So suppose I will select this particular point. So this particular point has been selected here. Let me choose another way. See, uh, see the changes here. Let me select another point. So this point has been selected. Here we can, it gives uh, the demo layer that is identified tool that gives us different results like we can uh, get the different information about that point. This point may be of a building that is around uh, 200 uh, feet high and uh, it has a uh, 300 different rooms and has an area of around uh, 4 square kilometers and it has a road. So in this way on clicking each of this point this identity tool gives us a different information about that uh, about that point. So you can also choose a variety of different points. You can you will get a variety of different uh, information about each of this point. So here as it is uh, given uh, we have not entered any uh, details or fields to this points. I will show you all, uh, how to add a fields in upcoming videos. So in this video I have shown you how to create a layer and how to add a points to the layer. So thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to our channel for more contents.